greatest dungeon ever. One morning, Caitlin and Connor were at the big station. Connor was taking on passengers, but Caitlin wasn't. Today, they were challenging each other to a race once again. When, pa when Connor's passengers were in, Caitlin and Connor were ready. Caitlin, said Connor, you're on. Then together, the two race race out of the station and race and pushed on. Oh, Caitlin had just went, had just took, had just overtook Connor, and then she raced on. The race is on, she shouted, and she raced through a tunnel and out. And Connor was just pulling on. When Caitlin started racing through the coastal lawn, she began to feel the, the fresh air it fall over her. She was enjoying it. When she went down, she was enjoying herself, but not for long. The driver slammed on the brakes. She takes in almost crashed into Molly. What what's happened to you, Molly? asked Caitlin. Oh, said Molly miserably, I've broken down. Now I'm going to have to wait for some other workmen to fix me, she said. Can you shunt me to the works? Then Caitlin looked at her front. I don't think I can, she said. I think you must wait, wait Molly, said Caitlin. But then Connor came in. Nice, tr nice try, Caitlin, said Connor loudly and puffed on. And he puffed on. Caitlin soon accepted Connor's winning, but then she had an idea. I know, she said, and she puffed away. A few minutes later, Molly was still waiting when she heard a familiar whistle. Caitlin was, was going tender first. She had been on the turntable, and now she, her back was coupled to Molly's back. Then they coupled the, their tenders together, and and then when they heard the engines, heard the familiar whistle, they realised who it was. It's Connor, said Molly. Let's race with him. Let, let's go, said Caitlin. And she had enough steam to, and she had enough steam to, to overtake Connor again. This time Connor was not going going to be overtaken. Caitlin was trying to go fast, but she she didn't know how. Wow, said Caitlin, you really are a he heavy engine, Molly, said said Caitlin. But Molly look but Molly did not take this well. No offence, Molly, said said Caitlin. You it that's what you really are. But that's because you're a big steam engine like me. Then Molly laughed. Soon she, soon she saw Connor going up the hill. Faster, Caitlin said. Said Molly. Then Molly, then Caitlin, went was going too fast. This is fun, she said. They raced through a tunnel. Then they went. Then they raced through Wellsworth Station and Connor stopped his passengers there. Soon Connor was soon Connor had been stopped had been stopped at the station for his passengers. Better look next time, Connor, shouted Caitlin, and the and the two disappeared together. Soon broken down, Molly was shunted into the into the workshop with big, strong Caitlin. Soon Molly was at the works. The driver, the drivers and firemen both uncoupled them, and Caitlin puffed away. Goodbye, Molly, said Caitlin. You're the greatest engine ever, shouted Molly. Goodbye. Then the workmen started fixing Molly. She's fast said Molly to her driver. She is, 
etc. driver. And that's what a streamlined engine really is. And Caitlin is one of them. But driver, asked Molly, would the fitters do anything to change my shape? But the dr but Molly's driver just laughed. Now why would you want to do that? You're a great engine, Molly, just the way you are. But this made Molly upset. But she was still upset the next morning. I wish I really looked like Caitlin, she said sadly to herself. But poor Molly still had got work to do more than worrying about other engines' size. She had to take some dinosaur models to the museum. Molly was still... But that didn't... But that still didn't cheer Molly up. She raced along. She hurried around the bend. Through the switch line. And when she arrived at the big station, she saw Caitlin there. Hello, Caitlin, said Molly. You really are a fast engine. That's a long line of passengers you've got. Yes, it is, said Caitlin. Said Caitlin, you're a very special engine. Yes, yeah, said Molly, but I wish I really looked like you. Do you? Said Caitlin. But she was interrupted by the guard's whistle. Goodbye, Molly, said 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 Caitlin, I've really got to go and she puffed away, leaving Molly to leaving leaving Molly to sulk. When Molly arrived back back to the Sodor Railway to the, back to the Sodor Railway from the museum, she was she was still unhappy. When she ar arrived back at the big station, Bill and Thomas were there. Hello Molly, said Thomas, you look upset. I really wish the fitters would change my change me into the same shape as Caitlin, said Molly. You're a great engine, Molly, said said Thomas, just like your fitter or your driver said. Every engine is different. Yeah, said Bill. Look at me. I even Look at me, she said. I I even look splendid and useful, she said. Of course you do, smiled Thomas. But Molly was still unhappy. She tried not to think think about Caitlin, but it was no good. That night at the sheds, the other engines were trying to cheer Molly up, but it was no good. Would you like to take Would you like my Would you like to take my fish to the to the docks tomorrow? Asked Arthur. No thanks, said Molly. I have a goods train to pull. I have a goods train to take to Osborough Harbour tomorrow, said Murdoch kindly. You can be my back engine if you would like. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> grunted Gordon. Like as if somebody body would like to be your back engine, he said. This made Murdoch offended. But Molly still n but Molly still knows that the engines were trying to cheer her up. So for the so for the rest of the night the poor engine went on happily to sleep. The next morning, Molly was starting to feel better. She arrived at Walsworth Station, where Caitlin was having her, 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 her repairs. Hello, Caitlin, said Molly politely. What are you doing here at the siding? I'm having my brakes fixed, said Caitlin, in case, I, in case they don't fail. Oh that's, that, oh, that's very good, said Molly. Anyways, I've, I better go take the mail. Goodbye. Goodbye, Molly, said Caitlin. And Molly puffed away. Meanwhile, Molly was still enjoying herself as usual when she heard an engine's voice and whistle. Help! cried the voice. This time it was Caitlin. My brakes have failed. I can't stop. Uh, Molly knew... Molly heard that voice. She she wanted to go faster, but she didn't but she didn't want Caitlin to be to be derailed. She she went a little little too too slow until until Caitlin bumped into Molly. Sorry, Molly! Gro shouted Caitlin. I can't stop. Don't worry, said 
lots of money. I'll figure out a way to stop you. The two engines were going so fast, even even around the line. They went off they went off a bridge and through the and through the coastal run. I have to figure out a way to slow her down, said Molly. She tried thinking, but then but then she but then she ha she had it in her. My brake, she said. Driver, she said. I need you to I need you to apply my brake. Right, said Molly's Molly's driver. Then with a sudden jerk mo Molly's driver applauds Molly's brakes and at last they slowed down and stopped. Phew, said Caitlin. Thank you, Molly. You really are the greatest engine ever. You saved me. Molly grinned happily. She knew what she had done. She had been she had been a hero to Caitlin and a good friend. This time, it was Caitlin's turn to be taken to the works, and it was Molly's turn to be called the hero of the day. You really are a fast engine, Molly, said Caitlin. Said Caitlin. Thanks, said, said Molly. Without me, you could have crashed. That was one, one heck of a fast journey. I know, chuckled Caitlin. I'm sorry I didn't shunt you to the works. She said, that I wish I had buffers at the front like you. That's why you wouldn't shunt me to the works, figured out Molly. You have a skirt, don't you? Yes, said, said Caitlin. You are the greatest engine ever. So are you, said, Mo said Molly happily. With that, the two were happy to be good friends. And they were all so happy to be... And they were also happy to be laughing together.